Hey everyone, I got here a Lee Time battery balancer from Lee Time. It's for the 2436 48 volt batteries. I didn't see many, if any, reviews or videos on this on YouTube. So I'm here to go ahead and try it out and see how it works. Um, as you can see, I have Lee Time 12 amp, excuse me, 12 volt, 100 amp. Uh, four of them connected in parallel and in series and my balance has been horrible Let's see if I can get this balanced The camera's gonna be crazy Okay, so this set Let me see if I can get that camera on two hands 13.8 And this one is 13.8 as well. Just gotta trust me, can't get down the camera. Let's switch it out. This one is 13.62. Um, I've been working with this lead time 24 volt 300 watt 3000 watt solar inverter charger um, I did do a little video about it running even with the power switch off my understanding is that the power switch is strictly for the inverter so I spoke to lead time about that it's strictly for the inverter the power on and off the inverter which connects to the battery right now I have it all wired up just got these solar panels wired up here. Only got 200 watt panels out there, two 100 re energy panels. And this is my makeshift wiring. It's only 12 gauge, plugged up to a standard extension cord outside. I'm gonna switch it out to eight gauge wire. After I did some research, I'm gonna probably end up being either 30 amp plug or possibly a 50 amp plug. But I did this this way, it's simple and convenient for me to just plug up literally the extension card from here to my house and run the power in here, charge batteries if I need to. Um, but that's just temporary. So let's get this thing hooked up. I am going to pause this video. I am very amateur at these battery, uh, at these YouTube videos, but bear with me. I will pause it and well, you know what? I didn't see anybody do videos about it. So it comes with the balancer, the cables. It's a four sets. Uh, I think you have to set each set per series of batteries you have. No one showed the manual. Here's the manual. What I was looking for as information wise. Well, let me show everybody. Y'all can screenshot it, stop the video, whatever. This is the information I get in the pamphlet. This part here is what I was looking for. The information I was looking for was down here for series and parallel battery systems. So you just hook up jumpers from, let me see what this. one set here and then the next set here. And the other two, it says that you can keep them unconnected, but just protect it. So I'll probably wrap some electrical tape around that. Again, to translate to that, that setup, oh, focus, that setup here, is the exact wiring setup I have here. Um, just got to wire it up to a 200 amp breaker. These are 63 amp breakers for the solar panel. Um, I tried at my a shunt. The shunt didn't work out for well for me from Amazon, so I returned that. I'm gonna go ahead and again pause the video and get this hooked up and watch it work. The complaints people do have about these on Amazon or reviews is that it doesn't have an indication light that it's working. Some pros of that is no draw or extra draw power. Cons is you don't know if it's working or not. Well, we figure it out. Uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video and get it set up. Oh, these are, what is it called? M8 connectors. If you can see it in the bag, M8 connectors, they line up straight with the M8 connectors on are bolts and the lead time batteries. And apparently these are supposed to be 20 inches long. Give me a second, I'll pause it and I'll re resume. All right, video's back. 
they said the connector is supposed to be over 20 inches long. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Uh, connectors look good. I thought I saw exposed wire, but I was wrong. Just lighting. Um, it's pretty, it's got some weight to it. Maybe two pounds, maybe. This is it for anybody. There's no indication light on it. There's mounting hose for it. It came with a set of screws. For now, it's probably just going to lay here or sit somewhere. It's a little creek here. Maybe just need to be tightened down. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and connect the first run to these batteries here, like the picture shows. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure all these connections stay on tight. I don't want, or see, look at that. I don't want any arcing and shortening anything. I'll pause the video again. All right, I got it back. Um, first set is, is connected. And second set is connected, positive, red, red, black, black. Just like the post or the picture. Um, again, I've read there's hums. I don't hear anything. Is it working? Don't know, let's check it out. This is too soon to say. Shutting down. Wow. 